powered by the Montana Television Network. The 10 o'clock news continues on KPAX, Montana's news leader. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what her style is, but she writes with color in her music. Reminds me a lot of the great singer-songwriters in the 90s. She's definitely a singer-songwriter, and she likes being different and defining her own sound. She's a young Missoula singer who is now preparing for the biggest learning curve of her young life. Jolene, 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 please. The comment section reads, is this the voice of an angel? The way she sings this makes me cry. Her voice needs to be known. Remarks from some of the almost 400,000 people who've seen this YouTube video of Missoula singer Maris. The 17 year old has made a name for herself performing and winning singing contests around Missoula. But then came this video. A baseball hat, a feather cape, and pearls. Oh, and a beautiful voice. With this rendition of Radiohead's Creep, Maris was runner-up in a national online contest sponsored by Postmodern Jukebox. She got to fly to LA to perform her own spin on a Dolly Parton classic. Postmodern Jukebox is an online platform created by musician and producer Scott Bradley to discover new talent. He brings people in and they take pop songs and cover them as if they were played on the radio in the 50s or the 60s. It adds a lot of substance, I feel, to a lot of songs. Reflecting off your we met Maris a couple of years ago, as her six-song EP was a number one seller at Rockin' Rudy's in Missoula. Now she has a new 13-track CD, written, performed, produced, and assembled all on her own. The, the production is terrible, um, honestly. <laughs> yeah. And like printed all of the slip-ins for yeah. this one and I bought the jewel cases off of Amazon and like burned all of the CDs myself and then just like wrote on the disc. So they look like trashy, trashy mixtapes, but it's fine. Like I think maybe that's the style that suits me. So she's producing her own music, she writes her own songs, she plays the instruments, she wins singing contests, she's creating a buzz for herself online. So what's next for this small town girl? Well, she's graduating from high school a year early and heading to the Big Apple. I'm completely aware that I'm, as a, somebody who was born and raised in Missoula, I'm going to hit like the biggest learning curve in my life, but I kind of am excited to grow as a human being and also as an artist. I was talking to my old middle school teacher, Mr. Delaney, and he was like, there's a hundred other Marises there and you're gonna have to find a way to stand out from them. And so I feel like I'm never gonna be able to reach my full potential if I don't put myself in situations where I have to. As a singer songwriter, she creates a film in her head, not just words, but feelings or moments, the kind we all look for in music. And it works, even though it's hard to explain her process. Something kind of shimmery sounding, I guess. I would think of like things that are shimmery and then try to emulate what I see and like the feeling of that into the sound. I probably don't make any sense right now, but like, okay. This teen's talents are constantly evolving. Where will she strike a chord next? That's yet to be written. I think maybe my full potential is the day that I can create a song that emulates a feeling so strongly that it's like a universal. Now, Maris just won another honor through the American Protégé Contest, and so she's going to be performing an original piece called Liar for a couple of days, you know, at that place called Carnegie Hall. I'd like to have heard of that. Yeah, Carnegie Hall, right? We have links to her social media pages where you can hear more from her on our website, kpex.com. And here's my own personal signed CD, so I'm hanging on to this. Hang on to that.